I'm going to stand down here and pace back and forward so it's not so obvious when I'm looking at the screen. Because <laughs> obviously, standing in at the very last minute, um, I'm going to need to prompt back and look at the screen occasionally. Um, who here has heard of the British Computer Society? Are you all members? Keep your hands up if you're a member. And who here has heard of the Data Center Specialist Group? So we've got a few people that heard of the DCSG. Um, any members of the DCSG in the audience? Well, there you go. One of my action points for you guys today is to go and look it up and see if it's appropriate for you to join. Um, now, the DCSG is part of the British Computer Society. We're a special interest group of practitioners within the industry. And what we like to look at is you know, changing data center strategy for the future um, in order to improve efficiencies, cost efficiencies, business efficiencies, um, in a very brand neutral way, because obviously we're part of the Chartered Institute. Um, I'm the intercommittee liaison between the DCSG and the Green ITSG and some other um, different special interest groups around the industry. Um, that's what I do. Um, of course, I have a day job, and my day job's to mention I'm a, an entrepreneur, an inventor, and I like working around in the fields of green IT. So green IT is one of my areas of specialism. The DCSG are very much um, interested in metrics. Um, and today, we're going to look at um, their contributions to metrics um, and the general philosophy to metrics, because you can't fix what you can't measure. And of course, the data center industry as a whole is under a lot of scrutiny around its growing energy consumption. I was reading a report the other day from Data Center Dynamics that said uh, energy consumption was going to grow 19% in data centers next year, um, which is a massive double-digit growth. And of course, um, I was also looking at a report from Greenpeace who was suggesting that if the cloud was a country, it would be the fifth largest consumer of energy in the world. Um, so it's obviously a massive consumption of energy, and you can't fix what you can't measure, so you need to start introducing metrics. And of course, an ideal metric is one that can actually deliver value to a company, one that allows you to constantly kaizen your organization and your estate in order to realize commercial benefit. But of course, in order to do that, it's in itself, measuring it, not going to, it can't, inter, um, it can't affect the, out, uh, the operations of the IT equipment. We can't have a Schrodinger's cat scenario. And it's got to be pretty simple to measure, pretty easy to measure, and pretty accurate. And of course, those two things often fight off against each other, ease of measurement and accuracy. So ideally, we want our metric to be relevant. We want people to you know, be able to use a metric in order that it's relevant to what they're doing. Um, if you guys are looking at some cloud estate in order to put some applications on, you want some metrics to actually guide your purchasing decisions. Or if you're operating a data center, you want some metrics that have a pur purpose and some relevance in order that you can improve your data center. It needs to be transferable. You know, that's a really tough one because PUE, a metric which I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of, right? Who in this room's heard of PUE? Hands up. Almost everybody in the room. Is actually a non-transferable metric. But people are using it to compare data center A to data center B. But it says in the definition of PUE, it's non-transferable. Um, so getting a metric to transfer is a, a really big one. And even the um, metrics which the BCS are proposing aren't transferable. And government want us to have transferable metrics because they want us to be able to say, hey, that data center and that data center, you guys aren't good enough. We're going to regulate you guys out, and you're going to have to improve. They want to apply regulation. So we have this kind of issue between simple metrics, they're easy to calculate, easy to understand, and useful metrics. And you know, there's, there's very much a, um, a handoff between these two. But what we're saying is, why can't we have a simple metric that's useful? And one of the guys, a chap called Liam Newcomb, who some of you guys might have heard of, is heavily involved in the EU Code of Conduct, was on a way um, back from Japan, where he'd been talking to the Japanese around metrics, and he came up with an idea. And I'm going to tell you about the idea in a minute. So looking at metrics that are out there, we've got our PUE, which measures the efficiency of our data center plant. You've got things like IT work metrics. Um, we've got 
data center power per energy, DPPE, which is what the Japanese are proposing at the moment. A nice, thorough, complex metric with lots of submetrics in it to try and do the whole piece. But part of the issue is there's a number of assumptions that are made, and the complexity of it kind of can make it quite difficult. We've got productivity proxies, and uh, we get this one right, data center efficiency performance. I think that's right, DCEP, which is currently the one proposed by the Green Grid as the extension to PUE with a little bit more complexity in it. One of the problems with a lot of these metrics is trying to look at useful work done by equipment. And what they try to do is instead of saying, hey, that's a server and it's done that amount of useful work, is say, well, if that server's using so much energy, then the, the amount of energy it's using must be proportional to the useful work that it's producing. And unfortunately, that is kind of flawed. Because one of the problems we have in data centers is most of the computers in a data center are running at very, very low utilizations. We all kind of accept that. Even when you virtualize, you run at quite low utilizations. And if you assume energy as a proxy for work, you end up with massive errors at low percentages of uh, um, utilization. And that's what we're depicting here. You see massive, massive inefficiencies at low percentage utilizations. But of course, 10% utilization is quite high for a non-virtualized environment. So it rewards, if you use energy as a proxy for work, it rewards idle servers. And we don't like the idea of rewarding idle servers. So when Liam Newcomb was on the way back from Japan after hearing about this, he was thinking, well, why don't we measure exactly that? Why don't we measure the inefficiency in this graph? Because that's actually quite easy to measure. And that's where we came up with the fever metric, fixed to variable energy ratio. So the purpose of fever is to try and get people to measure stuff to do to software what, uh, and IT what your data center infrastructure had done to it with PUE and try and trim the waste out, drive it out. And what the proposal for fever is, fever is one plus the, rela the ratio between the fixed energy of a data center and the variable energy of a data center. And a perfect fever is one just like PUE. What we're trying to do here is to try and make it so that if you have a data center that turns itself off when it's not being used, starts to shut things down, reduce the size of the estate, then it's got a very, very good fever. But if you've got a data center that pretty much when it's doing nothing is using as much power as when it's doing loads of work, then it has a bad fever. So you're measuring the um, waste, that energy that's being used when actually nothing's happening. And you're using this ratio in order to establish what that waste is. Think about it this way. If you had a car and you parked it on your driveway and it was running whilst on your driveway, and it used as much fuel when it was sat on your driveway doing nothing as when you were driving down the motorway at 90 miles an hour. You'd return that car because there'd be a fault. And that's exactly what we're thinking about here, measuring the difference, the ratio between when the car's idling and when the car's doing something useful. Targeting that waste and measuring it. We accept that things like productivity are quite subjective. It's very difficult to say, these guys are more productive than those guys. And there have been various productivity metrics proposed and studies done. I saw one the other day that was actually quite far in its advanced state of development. And I pointed out that it would suggest that a big supercomputer, which outputted a very small amount of results in terms of a nice compiled uh, report, had less productivity than a laptop doing BitTorrent because it defined productivity as data in and out. So we accept that productivity is very subjective down to each individual user. And we suggest that each individual operator should define their own productivity. 
So within Fever, what you want to try and do is define your own productivity, define your own productivity ratio so that you can get some useful reporting data out of Fever. Define your own productivity and benchmarks, like millions of instructions per second, or bits out per hour, or transactions per second, number of web pages delivered. And use those in conjunction with what we're doing. So you select a useful work metric. You then look at, once every hour for a whole week, recording the useful work output and the power consumption. Once every hour. You then choose the best hour and the worst hour for power consumption. And then very simply, you can calculate your fever. In this example, we have an FVER of six. And that can then help to say, well, actually, at the weekend, when nobody was using our website, because we're a commercial firm, and we had all these servers were still running, if we had some software that could implement and start to shut the servers down, then we get a better fever, and thus we get better efficiency. And of course, it also works on mechanical and electrical gear, because they have a fixed load implied with them as well. And so do servers. We start to get rid of the fixed load and end up with a data center that's completely variable load. And then you can start to track and measure fever. You can measure your percentage of recorded peak productivity, your hours of the day, and start to look at what your old power consumption looked like and what your new power consumption looked like. Look at different um, scores in order to advance your fever relationship, your fever ratio towards one. So there it is again. Fixed variable energy ratio is one plus fixed energy over variable energy. Now, as I'm not the best person to talk about fever, as I said, I'm standing in today, there is an event on the 6th of June. So if you want to get to know more about the, uh, the uh, FVER ratio and actually get involved, start measuring it, doing things with it, um, have a look on the BCS, DCSG website. Uh, quick Google will get you there. And uh, I haven't put it up there. Um, just Google it, BCS, British Computer Society, DCSG, and you'll find it quite quickly. Um, or drop me an email and I'll let you have the details. They might even be in the program. Um, and uh, get involved. So uh, thank you very much, everybody.